Warfarin is the generic name of a medication that is a blood thinner. So it is usually used for people who either have a blood clot or are at high risk for a blood clot. Warfarin could be used for long term or it could be used for short term depending on the reason the patient is taking it. The major concern when taking warfarin is the increased risk of bleeding and bruising. Patients require um, close laboratory follow-up. If the patients uh, don't go in for regular monitoring, there definitely is a risk of, um, of taking too much and having um, their blood way too thin. Warfarin is a drug that can interact with many other medicines. If warfarin is taken in combination with aspirin and pain medications, it can increase the risk of bleeding as well. There are um, quite a number of drugs that do affect the level of warfarin in the body, so it's really important for patients to inform their, their physician and their pharmacist of the drugs that they're taking. And conversely, it's important for um, providers to know that their patients are on warfarin before they start new medications. Certain foods can also change the way your body responds to warfarin. The main dietary thing to look out for is our foods that contain vitamin K, and vitamin K actually counteracts the effects of warfarin, so it decreases the levels of warfarin and, and increases the body's ability to form clots. And so if a patient is eating a lot of vegetables with vitamin K, they could be in a situation where they're at an increased risk actually for getting a blood clot. They should get from the FDA what's called a medication guide that's included with their prescription, and that is a lot of great patient information.